the President of the United States, if you have any questions at all, he's coming on right now. <laughs> Hi, Mr. President. It's great to be here. It's an honor to be here, Victoria. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Well, it's great. I'm very busy. We've got a lot accomplished. We've got some great things that we're doing that the fake news doesn't talk about, and that's okay. But we've got some tremendous things happening. We've done, just today alone, we did 7.6 million tests today. Just wow. Today. And nobody's talking about it, okay? And we're doing lots of ventilators. As you know, everyone was like, where's the ventilators? Mm -hmm. And that's all I heard from the fake news. Where's the ventilators? Where's the ventilators? And then we did thousands and thousands of ventilators. We're the king of the ventilators. And now we have so many. We're giving them to other countries. Other countries, like they're calling me, South Korea, President Moon, he called me, he said, I can't believe what you're doing. I can't believe the numbers you're doing. I said, I know we're doing tremendously. Where We have more testing and more ventilators. And I'm giving them to country in the shithole countries. I'm giving them to shithole countries. Not just good countries, to shithole countries. Okay? <laughs> countries like Belgium and horrible countries. I'm giving them to Africa. I'm sending them to Africa. So we're doing a tremendous thing. And then they said, and by the way, Africa is, that's a horrible country. You know that. And then I'm doing, they said, what about the testing? They said, testing, testing, where's the testing? And we're doing thousands and thousands of tests. And we're not just testing for COVID, okay? We're testing for everything. We're testing for herpes, gonorrhea, okay? STDs, okay? We're doing <laughs> testing for, nobody's doing that. We're doing that. Other countries are just testing for like COVID, Okay, we're testing for herpes, or if your balls itch, we're testing for stuff like that. So we're doing tremendously, and, and we're making a lot of progress. But the country's got to get back open again. You know that, right? The country, yes. we got to open up again. Because there's a pent-up demand, you know? People want to get back. Mm -hmm. And we want to work. They want to work. They don't want to see. Even the lazy people want to work. They want to work. And they want to come back. And I call it the transition to greatness, because I think that third is going to be a transition and in the fourth quarter i think we're going to start making money again and next year i think will be quite frankly the biggest year greatest year that we've ever had on record that's what i think for next year so wow. i think we're looking pretty good yes i think i think that's very promising to, um mr president let me ask you another question um people are like on top of you now for taking hydro hydrochlor chloroxin hydro chloroquine yeah, just taking hydrochloroquine. Yeah. yeah, but it's so been around FDA. for 30 years. It's been around for 30 years. It treats lupus, so the FDA longer approved than of that. it. Even longer than that. They were taking it back during the Depression. People took it just to, to get, they didn't have alcohol. They took it hydrochloroquine just to get, to feel high, you know? And then people would yeah. take it before they had sex. So I take it because I think I have, I might, I was told by my doctor, and by the way, I had a physical, it was, a great physical, you know that. Yeah. I'm in yeah. great shape. Two hundred. They did the test, and it was 238 pounds. They said, which is tremendous. They said you're 90 percent muscle, 10 percent money. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Okay. Not bad at all. And I got a great. T and they looked at me. The doctor said, "I can't believe it." And I even because you got to, at my age, you got to get certain tests. I went to go get the prostate test. You know that you got to get the prostate. And they said, it's very inflamed. I said, my prostate? They said, no, your penis. We can't believe how big it is. And I said, well, you shouldn't have had a female work on me. What can I tell you? And, uh, they said, it might be a black one. It's so big. We don't know what to oh do. Oh, my God, Mr. President, I am blushing. I don't even know where to go from here. Um, well, uh, right, right to my bedroom. That's where we need to go. <laughs> oh, Mr. President, let me ask you a question. How are you dealing with the whole entire Obamagate? What's happening with that? Well, a lot of people don't know this, okay? But Obamagate, first of all, Obama was in bed with Hillary, okay, with the dossier. You know, the, the dossier. And Obama's the most crooked president in the history of presidents. And that's just not our country. That's all countries, okay, including the Blackwoods. He's the most corrupt president. And a lot of the black countries don't like him. So that says something right there, okay? They don't like him because he's a nasty guy. And him and Crooked Hillary, Hillary is very crooked. But we know they tried to unmask Flynn. Everybody knows about it because they wanted to get to me. They didn't want me in the office. And so they wanted to use Flynn 
because he he knew too much. He knew too much. So we're finding out now. It's all coming out. You know, first it was Russia collusion, never colluded, total exoneration. Then it was the the bad phone call to the Ukraine, which I thought was yeah. the perfect phone call. And now it's this, because the horrible liberals, I call them the Democrats, the Democrats, because when I win, they're going to shit their pants. <laughs> I, I, uh, with all your um, with, with your, your your schedule is so busy. How do you have time to tell people happy birthday? Well, we're very busy. Who said whose whose birthday is it? Who's oh, birthday? I mean, I mean, no, no. I mean, sometimes you know you give a shout out to somebody, like you know, happy birthday or something. Well, sometimes so I don't. It was Melania's birthday two weeks ago. I totally forgot about it, and she was furious. She got we got a big fight about it. I don't want to talk about it, but we got a big fight about it. Oh, it's actually and, my it's actually my brother's birthday. My brother's well, birthday. He's a year younger than I am. Well, happy so, birthday to him. <laughs> well, I was wrong, and, and then I ran out to get a cake, and I put the wrong age on. I said, happy birthday, Melania, happy, happy, like 66. And she's only like 51. So I felt horrible. <laughs> but once a woman's over 40, you know, it's all downhill from there. I don't it's have to tell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't breathe. You're so, so funny. We're doing, you know, what else can I tell you ever think of doing stand-up comedy, Mr. President? Well, I'm already funny. <laughs> I don't need to do, I don't need to get up in front of a microphone at Broadway Comedy Club. OK, I could get in front of millions and millions of people every night at a rally in Ohio. <laughs> right. And tell it be funny. I could do that anytime I want. You know that. Right. But yes. horrible crooked Hillary. She's so great. And her horrible husband, her horrible husband, cheating Bill, I call him. I call him cheating Bill. And he was cheating a total trade wreck for eight years. He was one of the worst presidents next to Obama. One of the worst for eight years. His taxes were up. His pants were down. Not good. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, we got a great turnout tonight. It looks like we have, I'm looking at the numbers, 8 million, 8 million, it says. <laughs> That's a tremendous number. I didn't think I could do that, but we did it tonight. It's a great turnout. You know, it's 7 million. It's 7 million. You know we're going to you know get more views afterwards, right? Well, I, can I, hope, be... so. I hope so. It's and you know, uh, Melania is very jealous of you, by the way. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, she said, she said what do you, who's the show that you're doing? I said, it's Victoria. She's a good friend of mine. And she said, what are you doing that show for? I don't like it. I don't feel good about it. I said, I feel very good about it. She's a good friend of mine. And I said, you're going to have to back it up because we're good, I, good friends. I love Melania. Tell Melania well, I said hi. I said, if you, don't, if you don't change your attitude, you, I might be looking for a fourth wife. I could tell you that. <laughs> In all my years of reporting, Mr. Trump, I have never laughed this hard from a president. Well, that's saying that's saying a lot, I guess, right? And you're going to vote for me, obviously, in November against Sleepy oh. Joe. Of the other night he was interviewed. The other night he was being interviewed. They he said uh, they said, "What? How do you feel?" He goes, "Well, it was my. It's always been my dream to be president." And I'm thinking, of course it was, because you're always sleeping. Of course you had a dream. <laughs> he's a, by the way, Tara Reid. I mean, Tara Reid. This isn't. He's got to. He's got to respond to that. I mean, Tara Reid. This isn't. This isn't good, okay? Tara Reid. Uh, she's coming out. She's saying that he grabbed her skirt and he was touching her and feeling her up. And that's not good. And it's not even the good-looking Tara Reid. It's not the one from American Pie. This is some ugly one he met in Delaware. And he's got horrible <laughs> taste, I can tell you that. Horrible taste. <laughs> what, what, I looked at the women I flirt with. They're beautiful. I flirt with the beautiful ones. I save it for the beautiful ones, not the ugly ones. No. What about the children that he that he touches? I've seen videos. I well, think he's, those he's are touching actors. everybody. I know he's touching everybody. It's horrible, he right? Even, he can't even form a sentence. He's always touch. Well, he can't form a sentence, but he, he's, I guess he talks with his hands. That's what he does. He does. Does anybody have any fingers. questions? Yeah. Does anybody What's have that? any questions for Mr. Trump? I'm asking if anybody has I, any questions. I will be happy to answer any questions. I have to go very quickly. We have a task force meeting. But I'll be happy to answer any questions if they want to type how, the question. Uh, how's the how's Space Force doing? You excited about Space Force? This is tremendous. A lot of people don't know about Space Force. I'm the first to do it. No one's ever done it. I did it. And the Space Force is, a lot of people don't know this. I mean, this is going to be another defense for the country. This is No one's doing this. I'm doing it. No one's ever done this. And I've already named the head of the Space Force. 
and it's going to be Captain Kirk, and he'll be the head of it, and he's going to be driving the ship, and it's going to be a very big ship. It's going to be, it's going to be, I call it the Trump rocket, and it's going to be very big. It's big, it's wide, it's long, and it penetrates very deeply. I can tell you that. And they said, where's the Space Force going to go first? I said, we're going to go right into the black hole, because that's always been a little fantasy of mine, the black hole, right? <laughs> Somebody has. Somebody has a question. Uh, they want to know if that hydrochloroquine has any side effects. Well, it make, it does. It does. It makes your balls itch. I just found that out last night. I was up all night touching them. And uh, it makes you a little bit tired. Tired. A little tired. But other than that, I think it's it's working. It's working for me. It's working. I feel good about it. I like it. I, I have actually a question. take them every day. What's the question? Wait, somebody else has it. Me, uh, Mr. President, would you help release the Tiger King Joe Exotic? Well, you know, you I don't know too much about Joe Exotic. I haven't watched Neither. the show. Have you, yeah. have you seen the show? Have you seen no, it? No, not interested. Not interested. I haven't heard about it. People say it's a great show. I should watch it. You're, but, you're too busy for that. You're too busy for but that. He's, he's, well, I am busy. But you know what? I'd rather watch that than the fake news. You yeah. know, I can't watch the fake news anymore because CNN is totally corrupt. You know that. And the people on that show are horrible. They're always lying, making mistakes. I call him Anderson Blooper. That's what I call him, Anderson <laughs> Blooper. And Chris Homo, I call him. Chris Homo. <laughs> He's a total pretty boy. And how about the other one? Who's the other one? Oh, yeah. Donna Lemon. Donna Lemon. Oh. Isn't she horrible? She's a total disgrace. Every night, her feelings are hurt. What a shame. How do you I'm, I'm looking at very closely. I'm looking very closely at Joe Exotic. I want to look at... The information, I'm taking a strong look, a big look at it, and we're going to see what exactly they have on him because we don't know if he tried to kill anybody. I don't know that, but I like a guy that likes animals, and he likes to hunt animals, and I like that. Next question. Um, <laughs> next question. Uh, I forgot what I was asking you now. Shoot. I was just asking you about something about... Totally, totally forgot. Um, where? Um, wh what happens... I mean, God forbid, you don't win. Let's just say, I, you're a great leader because you you don't panic and you don't you tell everybody to not, to not panic, which I like. But what would you what would what would happen if you weren't president again? Let's just say. Well, what would happen is I'd probably have a TV show or something, you know, because I have a tremendous amount of people that want to see me every night on TV, and if it's not as president. It doesn't matter. I could have my own TV show. But sadly, I'm going to win again because people want me to win. They want, I've done more than any other president has ever done. You know that. We had the greatest economy in the history of the country. We had the greatest economy in the history of the world, by far. All the countries combined. Okay? And now I'm doing stuff with China. And you know, with China, we know that we thought it comes from the virus to scourge. We're looking into it. We know it came from we know it came from the wet market. That's what they said, the wet market, which I never heard of. I thought it was a strip club. I had no idea what it was. And then they said it was from Wuhan, which I now call Fluhan. And we know China <laughs> did it. And about 184 countries want to find out from China what they hid because they were hiding a lot. And I didn't even know we had 184 countries. I thought we had about seven. I didn't even know we had so many. And tell me, tell me about Stormy Daniels. What do you, what did you think of Stormy Daniels? There's a question below here, President Trump. I'd like to weigh myself before and after. That's I not a serious question. That's Who's not a that? serious. Who asked that question? Who asked that question? Uh, Inca, in I don't know. All right, in total I'm idiot. Not. A total idiot. Total flunky. What, what happened? What happened with Stormy Daniels? What well, happened? Stormy Daniels. You know it's a lie. Okay, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I've never slept with Stormy Daniels. She slept all night holding in a fart. I never touched her. We fooled around a little bit, you know. I said she grabbed, we were at a country club, and she said, I want to grab your wood, and I pulled my pants down. <laughs> and then I said, if you don't mind, can I play with your sand trap? And she said, absolutely. <laughs> That's about it. But I didn't have sex with, never had sex with. I, I wouldn't do that. How you your know, daughter there's one person, excuse me, there's one person in my life that loves me tremendously, worships me, almost worships me, and is attracted to me more than anyone in the world, and you know who that is. 
Oh, who is cool. that? Who, who do you think it is? I hope it's Melania. No, it's Mike Pence. <laughs> Mike <laughs> Pence is, I think he's got a crush on me, to be, to be honest <laughs> with you. He's got a little bit of a crush on me. <laughs> what, how's Ivanka doing? Well, she's doing great. I love Ivanka. I told her, I, I, I wish I wasn't her father, to be honest with you, because I'd be probably having sex with her. Hot sex. <laughs> Unbelievable sex. 